this update is literally that good. People are calling it a new game. You're gonna want to stick around, guys, to watch this full video. I never get to mention this until the end of the video sometimes, but please leave a like on this one. Let's break new records today for this incredible update, and I'm gonna show you everything that they've added to eFootball 2024. We're gonna be starting at Wembley Stadium because we have some new celebrations. The first one which uh, I'm gonna take a look at is uh, the Jude Bellingham one, which actually got added to obviously the FC24 just a few days ago as well. So let's compare and see which one is best. There we go, and let's do the celebration. Jude Bellingham walks up and then... Wow. I have to say, that one does look a little bit more realistic than the FC24 one. I'm gonna do a comparison right now, and you have to let me know in the comment section which game you thought did a better job. But uh, in my opinion, yeah, they, they nailed that one spot on. There's quite a few new face updates as well, one of them being, of course, uh, Gabriel and Martinelli. And I have to say, I, am I looking at a real-life picture here? This looks so realistic. Jude Bellingham is not the only English player who has a new celebration. Let's go ahead and try this one with Marcus Rashford. Gets the goal and then, of course, we have to press the personal celebration. And as you can see, he does uh, this one here, which has been in FC24 since the game came out. But it's uh, nice to see it in, um, in eFootball as well. Another player with a brand new face update is Cole Palmer, who did not have a real face on this game before. Obviously, he's been breaking through at the Chelsea this season, and he's one of the big stars of the Premier League this year, so nice to see him now in the game. Another player with a new celebration is Rafinha, so we're going to be checking this one here right now. And, um, okay, I think that was actually a new save animation. Come on, Rafinha, there we go. We have the goal, and now let's do the celebration. I haven't seen this one yet, but I know it's in the game. And um, he does a normal one, first of all. Okay. Is that it? Is that going to be the total celebration? No. As you can see, after the celebration, he does this, which is um, a new addition. So, uh, there you go. We have a brand new stadium in the game for the Mexican team, Tigres. So, let's take a look at it uh, right now, of course. And... Um, Obviously, they've been adding quite a few stadiums recently, so it's nice to see that, you know, now we have a good selection of them. But, I mean, this one looks absolutely fantastic. A beautiful stadium right there that you can use now on the game. And um, this would look, as I said, so good in, like, Master League and things like that. You really want some offline game modes when you got beautiful stadiums like this. I mean, look at the surroundings there in the background. They've also added some new fake teams which returns from all the PES games. For example, this one called Wii PES is really legendary and also Wii United. And thanks to Duran Dill for these images, uh, these are basically in the game files. You're not actually able to play with them right now on the console, but you're probably going to be able to do that in the next uh, update. And some Master League players as well have indeed been added to these teams. These are original Master League players that used to be back in like PES 2016, 17, 18, 19. So this might be a sign that we could be getting Master League very, very soon, guys. That's what I'm at least hoping for. So we'll have to wait and see, but, you know, this is a, a promising sign. They've also updated their pack animations, which we're going to be taking a look at right now. But as you can see, they also have a collaboration with this um, Blue Lock, which I believe is a anime series, uh, which is really popular. So this is cool to see now that it's going to be in the game. The car designs look absolutely fantastic. But uh, basically, we're going to take a look at this new updated pack animation as well. They've also added position training program. You can now actually train players to play different positions, which is kind of game-breaking, to be fair. We didn't have anything like this before. Um, so yeah, let's just claim everything. We're going to be getting some coins. I mean, look at these uh, packs, guys. They look uh, really nice, and I know that there's some new Martin Erdegaard cards and things like that. Look at this card, not show. We actually have a free one right here, and you could be getting yourself a pretty nice player. So we're going to be opening up this right now, and we'll take a look at this uh, new animation as well as you can see not too much has really changed uh, i just know that sometimes you're going to be seeing daytime and nighttime i think they've added some new like trees and stuff um in in the start uh, right there the get car not so you know as a liverpool supporter i uh, i'm still not really over that loss against united a few days ago but this player i have to admit looks really really good all of these new details and features is obviously really nice, but what matters is the gameplay. And trust me, they have done a lot of adjustments with the gameplay. Lots of new animations for goalkeepers, lots of new shooting animations, like defending animations, like it's a complete overhaul. So uh, right now I am really, really excited because this is what matters. And what I'm going to be doing, guys, is trying to take revenge 
on Manchester United. I'm going to be using Arsenal. We're going to play on Superstar difficulty. And um, we're just going to see if I'm able to, obviously, get a victory. That would be absolutely incredible. But, um, you know, against this difficulty, I always struggle a lot. So it's not going to be easy. Uh, they've also updated the uh, game faces here in, like, the, the pictures for the, um, for the game screen. So we have to start Martinelli, who's got a new face update. Uh, they go a little bit further up uh, in the pitch, uh, thank you. We'll change them to an attacking midfielder. So, we'll go with this lineup and see what we can do, but, um, yeah, come on. Come on, just take revenge on, on United. I cannot... I have to try to get over this loss uh, uh, in the FA Cup. Here we go, then. Kai Havertz with the kickoff. And, um, what I've been reading... Wow, what a terrible start. And already, Garnacho is absolutely cooking me. What I've been reading though on social media a little bit is that the gameplay speed is even quicker. And there we have a new goalkeeper animation already. So, in every single update they always seem to like up the gameplay speed. Which uh, a lot of people like but at the same time a lot of people don't. PES 2021 gameplay was obviously not that fast. And a lot of people want the game to, you know, go back to that. Especially for offline. Here they go on the ball now. Orchestrating the attack. Bukayo Saka with the uh, timed cross, but finds absolutely nobody. I cannot let Garnacho have too much of the ball. He is uh, a really, really good player. Come on, Erdegaard. What is that? Why is Martin Erdegaard one of the most technically gifted players dribbling so slow? Ah, here is United again. There hasn't been many chances, to be fair, in this game. That's a good tackle, but we're going to have to give a throw in. There's two balls on the pitch, guys. What is going on there? I've never seen that before. Uh, that is not allowed in football, to have two balls on the pitch at the same time. Obviously, it disappeared, but for one moment there, they were actually both on the field. So, uh, not everything has been fixed, clearly. Okay, going to have to make some changes there at halftime, because this is... Not working for me at all. So, uh, let's sub Hobart with uh, Gabriel Jesus. And, um, yeah, let's get the Trossard on as well. The player faces yet again, though. Wow, looks super realistic. I actually feel like they have nerfed this difficulty. Because before it used to be, I mean, impossible to play against these guys almost. But, uh, you know, now they haven't actually had a single shot. So, maybe they have uh, turned down the difficulty. It feels like it anyway. But here is Arsenal with Gabriel. Let's tip this over to Saka. How have I not scored from a couple of meters out? Onana is uh, furious at the defense. But that was a really nice attack. Gabriel Jesus as well with a nice pass. And obviously that should be a goal. There's, there's no question about that. United make some changes. Anthony and Eriksen comes on. There we go. Win it back in midfield and... Oh wow, what a clearance that is. But again, we have the ball. Hey Zeus, Trossard, why are you complaining? You gotta stay focused. That is so frustrating. Come on, Arsenal. Let's keep up this pressure. Very disappointing performance, to be fair. I wasn't able to create much at all. I should have scored that chance with, um, with Saka, but, you know, 0-0 zero, zero full-time. Anthony on the ball and he cannot get uh, through but that was close. What is going on? This is awful. Rashford. Good save. That is the first shot United has had all day. And now here they are again but we cannot clear it away guys. This is this is terrible. Come on give me one more chance. Ödegård to Saka. They've changed up the uh, penalty um, screen right here. As you can see, they have now condition, ability. So this is obviously brand new. I'm going to be going with this lineup and we will see what happens. Ooh, I think uh, this um, screen as well, guys, I haven't seen before. So maybe they have uh, focused a little bit on penalty shootouts. I'm kind of happy that it went down to a shootout now. And they've also got it in the top left corner. I think that's brand new. So let's go with a chip here from Saka. Can we have a good start, please? And uh, no... I swear, penalties against the hardest difficulty is always impossible here. But come on, Rashford against Raya. Which way is he going to go? And 
we have gone the right way. Wow, this penalty shootout is uh, way more entertaining than uh, that game was, I have to say. But come on, Martin Ødegård, put us 1-0 up, please. The Norwegian, and wow, that is in the back of the net. Not exactly where I aimed it, and a uh, little bit of a weird dive from the goalkeeper, but... Most important thing is uh, it's in the back of the net. Christian Eriksen up next and he's gone down the middle. So then we have Jorginho who's obviously got a unique penalty style. I think we're just gonna go down the middle with this one. Come on, do the little jump and oh no. That could cost me quite a bit in this shootout. Anthony steps up next. Look at his boots. Yeah, by the way, they've also added new boots and stuff. Um, but I don't think it's entertaining for you guys to, uh, t for me to go through all of them. Come on now, we really need a goal. If they save this one, it, it, it's probably over. Declan Rice against Onana and we really needed that one. But now we need a save. Casemiro is going to be stepping up. Wow, this is an interesting run up. Is he going to mess it up though? And no, he goes in the bottom corner. So now it is decisive. If we miss, we are out. Come on, Trossard. Please. Do not mess this one up. Against Unan. Every time you go with a chip or uh, or down the middle, the, the keeper is just going to get there. Wow. Manchester United haunts me yet again, guys. This has not been a good week at all. So, um, fair play. Not too sure who this is supposed to be because it's not got a real player face, but yeah, um, he's smart of the match, I guess. Guys, that was not really an entertaining game until it went down to the penalties. I don't know really what to think about this uh, gameplay. I'm going to be doing one more game because um, it might just be me who had a, uh, a bit of an off game, you know, not playing my normal game. So if this game as well is literally without any chances, then we can definitely say for sure that... Um, you know, the gameplay probably have changed for, uh, maybe for the verse. I mean, I like all the new animations and stuff, but in my opinion, the passing and the dribbling doesn't feel as good as it did before. But let's hope that this game is better. Lautaro. Ooh, that's a, that's a new animation right there. New defending animation. Now we have Thomas Muller. And uh, he tries for the cheeky option. I'm liking the movement way more of this Bayern team. Harry Kane chasing now. Inter with uh, quite a bit of possession. But are they going to be able to do much with it though? That's the question. Ooh. Almost. But uh, Kimmich is there. And now let's have another good attack. Oh, Thomas Muller has gotten there. And he's going to cross it in. That is another new clearance animation. To Rom, to Lautaro Martinez, and just like that, Inter have taken the lead. Yeah, things went really fast there, guys, and we just couldn't keep up. And it's uh, probably a deserved goal for them. They've had the most possession. Oh no, what a terrible start to the second half. We go 2 0 down, and yeah, that's probably game over. Oh, this is gonna be tough now. We only got one half. And we need two goals. I mean, one goal is uh, hard enough, but two? Come on, Kane. Nice turn. Harry Kane! There we go. Goretzka. We have to give that to Harry Kane! And how am I not scoring, guys? What is this? I cannot score. This is crazy. This is the second time I've hit the post now on an open goal, by the way. Ah, uh, what is this? Guys, I'm playing offline and every pass, everything feels so delayed. I haven't experienced this before. I, it might just take some time to get used to this new gameplay, you know. Obviously, it's not the same as it was before and... After playing two matches only, it's still like too early to say if it's a good or bad change. But, yeah, gonna have to seriously play this game quite a bit more to, to improve. Not a good episode, to be fair, in terms of uh, the results, but I enjoyed the new animations. Um, you know, very frustrating that I was not able to score two open nets. Um, 
But, you know, I'm going to keep playing this game, keep improving, and I'm sure there's going to be more videos on this channel very soon where uh, I play much better than I did today. But I have to say, guys, the gameplay feels totally different than before. I'd recommend to go ahead and check it out. Please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.